So if you've got a Yamaha side mount throttle control, um, this is off a 2015 250 Show Max. Um, I have it obviously out of the boat and I've taken the cover off. It's really not very hard to do. There's, you know, you take the front off. You can, you can find other videos that describe this, but the reason I'm doing this is I have a funky friction issue, which is not just the friction screw. That's all you can find on the internet. The issue is, is that when you bring the throttle up to some, you know, 3,000, 4,000 RPM, whatever, and you let go, the throttle will back off just a little bit. And the reason it's doing that is the throttle cable uh, is pulling back on the throttle arm, which is right here, as it should, because there's a spring in the outboard. And the, the it, well, it really shouldn't though, because the friction um, mechanism, which is this right here, which clamps down on this. I'll show you how this works in a second. That should prevent it from moving. And you tighten down the screw that's on the outside by the lever that is actually clamping this onto this plate. And that's, you know, giving the thing friction. Well, the problem is, is there's slop between this and this arm, which is very hard to do while I hold, hold the phone, but I will just, just show you here what I'm talking about. This piece, which actually fits on here, this ever so slightly has wiggle. See that? So this is having friction on it by that. But what's happening is, is that when you push forward on the throttle, the spring's pulling it back and then, oop, it just moves that much, which is enough to cause about a 200 RPM um, fallback, which is really annoying when you're using the boat. Additionally, it's not just this piece that's on here that's sloppy. It's this piece which fits in that. You can see this has that shape right there around the screw with a little kind of a clip thing on the back. That fits in there, which isn't supposed to move at all because this is what's holding on to that plate. There's a tiny bit of friction in, or sorry, not friction, slop in this as well. So when you move the throttle lever, which is moving this arm, you are getting two different things that have just a little bit of slop. And when you add that together, you have a lot of slop, which is about 200 RPM. And you might be experiencing 50, you might be experiencing 300 RPM. Um, I'm going to attempt to make this so that it does not move in there. And I'm also going to attempt to tighten this around here so this doesn't move. This, by the way, is the primary reason why it's doing it. And I'm gonna do this, I don't know yet, but I'll follow up here in a minute, but I'm either gonna clamp I'm gonna squish this ever so slightly so it's tight. And I think I might bed this in JB Weld, which will fill in these microscopic gaps. There's no tor there's no uh, forces that are trying to pull this off this way. So just filling in the gaps would work. Of course, that's not easy to do, but JB Weld will do that. I don't know how long it'll last. I think it you know might last a good while. And I was gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of JB Weld coating this so that when this goes back in here, the, the you know thousandths of an inch that are around this are filled in with that JB Weld, so this can't jiggle at all. And theoretically, between that being stabilized and this being stabilized, there would be no slop at all in this arm when you add throttle. It, the friction is going to keep it right where it is. Because right now, like I say, when you add throttle and you let go, it goes back about. When I had this before I took it apart, it was, if you measured out here, there's probably, well, let's see, let me just simulate it here. I would move it and it would go, like I'm adding power and in my case pushes back on the cable and it springs forward. So when I added power, it would go and then I let go and it goes back like that. So there's that much slop just between this and that. The cable and the linkage and the connection to uh, this mechanism that slides, which pushes on this right here, that is slopless. I mean, it is so perfectly precision tight. There is no slop at all. There's no slop in this bearing. There's no slop at the cable connection. Everything is very, very, very tight, which it's just a shame they designed this and this to not be so tight because that's where you get all that movement when you let go of the throttle. So I'll follow up more here to show one more time just how much slop there is here before I do anything. You can see that moving right there and that translate over this arm uh, a good, well, between this and that, I'm going to show you that again in a minute, but this slop right here, you see how much that is, it's substantial. It's just a bad design, a bad fit. And I'm hoping that JB Weld in there 
is going to take up that space. I don't, I can't weld this. This is a cast bushing, um, and this is a plate steel. This is plate steel, but, um, anyway, and then I stuck this back in just to show you, look at this slot. That should be tight and it's not, and it's not worn out either. You look at the, the plastic, it's not like it's worn. It's just, it's just the design. So again, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to JB weld this on so it doesn't really come off. And I'm going to end up putting that and this all on together. Because the, the whole the whole idea is you can put this on. Hold on. There's also a bushing that goes under this. I don't have it on here right now. But this goes on and then slides in there into the friction thing. And then you put the arm on. But I don't see any reason why I can't just put this all on together. And that way it's all tight. So... And you can always break free the JB weld if it doesn't work right. Okay, okay here so we now go. I JB welded the weld, the, the, the epoxy is actually in that slit all the way around. I, I wiped off this side real well because there is a bushing that sits on this side. But I'm letting it set up. I didn't care about that because that's extra strength and it's not hitting anything. I also got all the epoxy off of the, the friction plate where that guy rides against it. So once that sets up, I'm going to put some more of that stuff around this guy and stick him back in here all together with this and uh, let it set up and see what happens. Okay, so I put the JB under this piece and I actually put the um, friction tightening bolt in there just to sort of hold it, although that doesn't really hold it. It sort of does. It's mostly squeezing the clamp together, so you don't want to tighten that too much. But either way, it's now set up. It's not fully cured, but man, look at this. I got a little bit of friction on right now, and you can see there is absolute... I don't know if you can tell there or not, but it is... <laughs> it's dynamite. There is no slop at all um, in anything. So I don't know if it's going to take, but get out in the water, we'll find out. So I'll put it together and do one more shot. Well, now we're out in the boat. There's the uh, two cables connected. Throttles on the top, shifters on the bottom. That um, friction mechanism I worked on is right there. It's all greased. Everything's greased and lubricated and reclipped and so forth. There is zero slop in that now when it moves. I haven't put it together and tried it yet, but uh, unless the JV weld crackles and falls out, which it could, this uh, should work. By the way, I'll, I'll give you a shot when it's all in, but that's the handle so you know which remote control this is. I think they call it a six by three, but honestly, I don't know. Uh, there's also a micro switch I gotta put back in here. And there's also a plate, which is that guy right there that goes back over this whole works. But I just wanted to show you before I did that, there she is all put back together. I won't know till I put it in the water, which is gonna be an hour or two, but I will show you. If there's any difference when I go into gear and it's great I go up here there is still that I don't know it seems like that's better than what it was I don't know if that's going to cause an rpm drop or not if that slop in the splines that this attaches to the shaft I don't know so hopeful okay you know. so we're out in the water now and <clears throat> everything's operating normally I put it in gear everything's great as I bring on the power, I do have the friction set fairly tight because I, I don't want the friction to be any issues here. So it's a little jumpy, but I'm going to go ahead and take it up to about just right there. And I'm going to let go of the throttle right now. You see it dropped about 50 RPM. So that's about 50 RPM. That's a lot better than what it was. If I go faster... I'll just kind of get it up on plane here a little bit. Okay, at about 30. I can already tell it's better. So right now we're at like 30, 3150. If I just push a little bit and I let go, you see there's about maybe 50 RPM of change. It's about a 50 RPM change let go of it so it's totally tolerable now much better than it was so if you're having this trouble with yours it might be with your mechanical you might want to take it apart and try this um, I, 
think that this controller or this remote controller itself just has an eight built-in slop. Uh, so many write-ups I've seen on threads about people trying to explain the friction thing and all they keep getting is, oh, just tighten your friction screw. Well, that, that's not the problem. It's the slop. Um, this did sort of fix it. Not entirely, but um, might not get any better than that. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video.